That's bloody steep. Have a look on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to the Muro Vui. Something really cool about the Muro Vui is that people like you that want to climb it just uh, for fun uh, have to know that uh, it's a very quiet uh, wall. Uh, have a look on this post. Excepte circulation local, it means just uh, the cars of the neighbors can, can climb here, and that makes that you rarely see a car climbing the Muro of Ui. So, if you want to climb Muro of Ui, you have to search on Google Maps uh, Ui, the town in Belgium, and then the street is. Have a look on that. Chamin des Chapelles, uh, the road of the chapels. And why is called the uh, road of the chapels? Because in the length of the Muro Vui, 1k 300 meters, you've got a lot of stuff uh, that we are gonna cover today. The first thing, seven chapels. Yeah, seven chapels. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. <coughs> In my veins, I've been driving this train. Then you've got Gridian for sure. Yeah. Epicness of the flesh balloon. A telepheric, the last telepheric that you can find in all Belgium. That's the telepheric that drops you in the top of, of the Muro of Hui. A family park on the top. I mean, it's okay, he's not the London Eye, but <laughs> like the Valon say. Here starts Le Dance de les Signes, the dance of the swans, because <laughs> riders like Ala Philippe, uh, Valverde, uh, Roglic, uh, Mark Hirschi, they look like uh, swans <laughs> when they are climbing these, these mountains, dancing, because they have to fight to, to climb these uh, steep gradients. Something I'm enjoying a lot of this Muravui is no cars at all, super calm. And also that you've got pictures of the big charms of the flesh ballona that motivates you while you are climbing. Rebellini, the Italian cycling, uh, he won in three occasions, in 2004, 2007 and then 2009. And then we've got Julian Philippe, uh, he won in a couple occasions. In a row, he won it in 2018 and 2019 uh, flesh ballon. <laughs> So the Frenchman and the Italian are two of the big champs of, of the Muro of Vui, but the king of this uh, climb is Alejandro Valverde. This wall is in Belgium, but it could be a region of Spain because Alejandro Valverde has won it in four occasions and has more victories than Eddie Merckx that has won it three times or guys like uh, Ala Philippe that uh, has won it in a couple occasions. I'm just getting to the steepest part of the climb, the s ben it's called, 40 meters at 26%. The s ben is a game changer in the mood of Wii. A chicane of just 40 meters that reaches the 26% of gradient. Cyclists who have succeeded on Ui tell you must launch the winning attack after the s ben otherwise you are gonna blow up. <laughs> Just have a look on the five victories of Alejandro Valverde in Ui, always making his move after climbing the s -Ben. Patience is the key on Ui, if you lose your attack and you make your move too early, the s -Ben is going to wreck you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, I know on television, the, the, you guys don't appreciate as much as, as I do the, the, the gradient. So I'm going to do one thing to show you that that's bloody steep. I mean, <laughs> I park my bike here and I've got here my, my bottle of water and you'll see how steep that is. I'm going to leave it here and have a look on that. 
<laughs> it goes crazy. That's bloody stupid. Have a look on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to the Muro Vui. After the seven the gradient, we can say that it gets much more easier. And there's a big straight, and you can already see the, the top. Have a look on that. Yeah, we're going to that place. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes So Take yeah, look, here is the, the finish line Just in front of the, the big church that there's here That's the teleferic that drops you in the top of, of the Muro of Uy. They are working on it because, yeah, this uh, teleferic has a, a Hollywood story behind it. And why are they working on it? See the, the trucks there working on, on that teleferic? Because in 2012, uh, there was a, an helicopter accident involved with, with that teleferic. An helicopter that was flying low here in, in the town of, of Uy hit one of the cables of the teleferic and crashed. I mean, that helicopter made that the teleferic, I mean, broke but also the, the helicopter crash and the three people that were on it, uh, all of them, they unfortunately lost their life. 